You've probably heard about this potential mega blizzard next week. Now with the setup we have going into next week, a big eastern snowstorm and potentially southern snowstorm is possible, but I can almost guarantee you we're not gonna see two feet of snow from Atlanta to Charlotte. Let's quickly take a look at this active winter weather pattern that is setting up for the east next week, and what our actual chances of seeing a big snowstorm across the eastern seaboard are. These three charts I'm about to show you may look boring, but they're actually really important in telling the story of what could happen next week. What we're looking at right here is our European Ensemble, which is a very good and safe model to look at in this time frame. It's never going to be perfect, but it can give us some very valuable information. Our European Ensemble going into next week does want to put us into a negative AO. A negative AO or negative Arctic Oscillation is associated with much colder air moving down into the lower 48. This can typically be related to a sign of a slowing polar jet, allowing that jet stream to dip farther down into the south. Here's a look at our EPO or Eastern Pacific Oscillation. Your EPO tracks the variation of strength and location of your jet stream in the Eastern Pacific. And a negative EPO, which is what we're projected to have, a very negative EPO, can be associated with a lot of cold Arctic air being pushed down into the US, especially across the east. And lastly, our NAO or North Atlantic Oscillation. A negative NAO, which is what we're projected to have next week, according to our European Ensemble, is also associated with very cold air across the eastern US. But what's important about a negative NAO is it's also typically associated with more storminess across the east. This is where things start to get interesting. Cold air and storminess, especially in your third week of January, which is on average your coldest week of the year in the northern hemisphere, can set you up with the real possibility of a big snowstorm and potentially snow farther south. This is why we are seeing model after model after model wanting to give us a chance for a big, big snow next week and potentially the coldest air we've seen all season by far. What you have to understand is there's a lot of things that can change between now and next week that could either change the timing of these systems, not allowing the moisture to be present when the cold air is, or we could see our troughs start to de-amplify in the models as well, not bringing that cold air as far south. And depending on where the troughs enter the Northern US, we could have storm systems just forming off the coast. That is why we cannot say for certain this far out if a big event's gonna happen. But I can say for certain, right now the outlook looks positive for a potential big winter outbreak in the east next week. Does that look cold or does it change? We're going to be watching it and I'll be letting you know. Alrighty guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you like this type of content, feel free to throw me a follow. I make posts like this every day. I stream every single night and I'll see you in the next video.